In this SkyCAD tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the user interface. There are four sections in SkyCAD. The first one is the ribbon section located at the top of the screen. This is where you will find all the command icons. These command icons are grouped by categories, which you can access by selecting the different tabs. The ribbon is contextual, meaning it only displays commands that are relevant to the item that is selected. For example, when you click on a project, specific commands are displayed, such as close, save, and save as. If you click on the Tutorials Support tab, you will have quick access to all the SkyCAD tutorials and the forum. Sometimes tutorials are available from the tabs where they are relevant. For example, if I click on the Drawing tab, a button linked to the tutorial on Drawing Tools is displayed in the ribbon. The second section is the Tree View, located on the left. This is where you will find all active projects, including their sub-elements. In this case, we can see the example project is open, and its sheets are displayed. When a sheet is selected, a preview of it will be displayed in the preview section. For every tree view item, a small arrow button allows you to display and edit its properties. Right now, only sheets are displayed, but much more of the project can be shown if we select the project and click on the Show tab of the ribbon. Here we can access all available queries for the project. We can see that the Sheets query is currently activated, which is why the sheets are displayed under the project tree view. If I deactivate the Sheets query, the sheets disappear from the tree view. When I activate the Components query, the components of the project are displayed. Notice that when I select C1, the symbols representing it on the sheet are highlighted. SkyCAD has many navigation tools. To show you one of them, I'll click on the Home tab and select Navigate. A window is displayed, showing me all the places where C1 is present. If you select one and click OK, the page is opened and the component is highlighted. Let's close this window for now. The tree view can be hidden by clicking on the arrow to the left of it. The next section of the user interface is called the View Tab section. This is where most of the design is done. To zoom in and out, scroll the mouse wheel. To pan, click and hold either the right mouse button or the mouse wheel. To return to full view, Double click the mouse wheel. To open a sheet in the View tab area, make sure the sheets are displayed in the tree view by selecting the project from the tree view, clicking on the Show tab, and selecting Sheets. Then double clicking the sheet from the tree view. Not only sheets can be displayed in the View tab area, you can also open IO lists, terminal lists, parts lists, and more. To open lists in the View tab area, select the project and click on the Show tab. As you already know, if we click on Components, the components are displayed in the tree view. But if we hold Shift while selecting components, the components are opened in the View tab area. Now we can view the sheets and the components side by side. These list types Don't require you to hold the shift key to open them in the view tab area. Just click on them. Let's select parts list. If you have many tabs open in the view tab area, you can scroll the mouse wheel to see them all. It's possible to view the properties or details of almost anything in SkyCAD by right clicking on the item and selecting explore. In this case, some of the command icons are cut off due to the size of the window. We can either scroll the mouse wheel to see them all, or simply adjust the window size. The last section of the user interface is the library. All symbols are categorized within tabs.
As with the tree view, the library can be hidden by clicking the arrow to the right of it. The symbols in the library can be rearranged as you like. This is covered in a separate tutorial. There is also a status bar at the very bottom of the screen. Idle function lets you know which function or command you currently have selected. Selected item tells you which item you have selected. Zoom factor changes when you zoom in and out. X and Y displays the X and Y coordinates of the mouse cursor. In conclusion, I'd like to show you a very handy feature. Wouldn't it be great to have your schematics and parts list or IO list open side by side, and when you make changes to one, the other is automatically updated? That's exactly what I'm going to show you. As an example, let's select the PLC IO list, then select Send to Explorer view. Now the IO list is opened in a completely separate window. You can click and drag this window over to your second screen if you have one, or just to one side of your screen if you don't. Then move the other window to the other side. If you don't have a second screen, you may want to hide the tree view and or the library. Adjust the window sizes to suit. and select the relevant schematics, in this case, PLC. Now we can view the PLC schematics and the IO list side by side. When we make changes to the schematics, the IO list is automatically updated, and vice versa.